This is what I didn't want to happen. This is why I was starting to get impatient and a little frustrated with how long it was taking Jerry and the Cowboys to pay their guys. Because you can't handle every player in every situation the same way. One of the key aspects of leadership is being able to identify those that you are leading and identify what will and what won't fly with that particular specific individual. Jerry Jones came out and was asked about whether or not he has any urgency as it pertains to getting CeeDee Lamb's contract done with the first preseason game coming up and with the season looming in roughly about a month now. And Jerry responded and said, I don't have any urgency to get it done. Here's the thing, CeeDee Lamb for the first time, literally probably during this whole saga, has seemingly commented on a discussion being had around his contract negotiations. And the comment was cryptic, it was short, it was concise, and oh boy, it opens up Pandora's box because now the networks and fans and everyone is gonna go all over the place in different directions and take this all kind of places. And I'm be honest, I can't blame anybody for their reaction to what this is right here. Because what this is, is it seems like C.D. Lamb is not amused by Jerry Jones' antics. So you can see here, John Machota, he talked about the quote that Jerry gave and C responded with a simple, LOL, bro. And why is this newsworthy? Why is this worth talking about? Because if you actually look at it, C.D. Lamb has not commented or discussed anything else about his contract status. And in fact, the last time he tweeted prior to today was, I'm not speaking about any contract negotiations. If that's your questions, you'll get zero answers. It's about the kids. This is July 8th, prior to one of his camps that he was holding. C.D. hasn't said anything else about that, but he found time to come out and comment on Jerry Jones's latest media appearance. There's only two ways that this goes right here. There's only two ways that you can take this very simple LOL. It's one, and it's the negative side. CD's not amused. He doesn't find it funny. He doesn't find it cute. And he may be feeling a little bit disrespected right now because Jerry is saying he feels no urgency to get a contract done with a guy who damn sure deserves one, regardless of what you brainless, numbskull ass fans may think. CD damn sure deserves this contract and your owner is telling you, I feel no pressure to pay this man. Or he thinks it's a LOL moment because the contract is already done and the joke is on everybody and the Cowboys are just waiting until the Olympics are over to announce their contract signings and all this stuff. And CD thinks it's funny because he knows Jerry's just twiddling the media around his finger. That is also a possibility and I would be remiss if I didn't bring that possibility into the equation, because right now, everyone by and large is taking this extremely negatively. Everyone by and large is looking at this like, uh oh, this doesn't look good. Everyone feels like CD in his contract negotiations with the Cowboys are starting to take a route akin to Brandon Ayuk and his contract negotiations with the San Francisco 49ers. And if you don't know, Brandon Ayuk is almost out the door now. CD, we don't need him out the door. We need him firmly set in place inside the house with his feet kicked up on the couch, bro. He is a core piece of this Dallas Cowboys team. And again, regardless of what all the low IQ fans out there may think, you do not just let premium talent walk. Regardless, the Cowboys are set up perfectly to where they have two or three guys on offense they can build around, their quarterback, the receiver, and one of their offensive linemen, and they have two or three guys on defense they can build around, two DBs and a pass rusher. They're in the best situation possible. Why are you playing games? Why are you rocking the boat, Jerry? Why are you stirring the pot? Which is exactly what this could be. Jerry knew that the media's been quiet. The Cowboys haven't been in the news for the last week or two and Jerry wanted to see the Cowboys headline. So maybe he did this for the purpose of trying to stir up some controversy, but I just think there comes a point where it starts to become detrimental to the morale of your players, the morale of your organization, and the morale of your fan base. Regardless of how many dollar signs it's generating, I feel like at this point, the way that Jerry and Cowboys are going about business is hurting the fans the most. We're the ones being left in the dark. We're the ones emotionally tethered to a situation that we have no control over. So we're at the mercy of the Joneses and he has no pity on us. In fact, 
he thinks this whole thing is funny. Calvin Watkins expanded on this line of questioning, stating the question was asked, is there a sense of urgency to get CeeDee Lamb contract done with the preseason starting? Jerry Jones said no. Calvin Watkins said why? Jerry said, I just, I went to high school. I went to college. I don't know why I said it. Ha ha ha. I don't have a sense of urgency of getting it done. Give any reason you want. Ha ha. I'm hoping that the Cowboys, CD Lamb's in on the joke. I'm hoping that the Cowboys organization is just playing one big cruel joke on the fan base. And if that's the case, shame on y'all, Cowboys, because that's, that's not right either, bro. Why are y'all doing us like this? The people that have sold y'all unwavering loyalty through almost 30 years of ineptitude, y'all are dragging through the coals and pooping in our faces and pissing in our cup and calling it lemonade and a chocolate ice cream scoop, bro. Like, what is going on? What is Jerry talking about? Can people stop putting microphones in this old, decrepit-ass Crip Keeper's face? Jerry is not lucid. This man is not all there anymore. At this point, Jerry's reminding me of the uncle that people keep locked away in the back room so he can't bother nobody, bro. Jerry is not all there anymore. And he's playing games with the fans on top of that. He's playing games with his star players on top of that. So this is... I don't know. I don't know. I still remain 100% confident. And I feel like this is arrogance. This is the arrogance in operations that I talk about all the time with the Cowboys. This is their arrogance coming through right here, ladies and gentlemen. Either the Cowboys know exactly when this deal is going to go through and pretty much everything's already done and they're just waiting for the perfect time to drop it so the Cowboys can have uninterrupted coverage of their team for two weeks leading into the NFL season. Or Jerry's just being a complete asshole right now. I don't know, bro, but either way, both ways makes it to where I have to still say we still the same damn cowboys, bro. What is happening? Pay CD! Pay Dak! Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still the ball? Y'all use the check on me. Listen, 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 listen. I'm still the boys. Hey! Woo! Hey! I'm still them boys.